Now, a prison monitoring board says it is very concerned about the levels of violence at Nottingham Jail. The independent monitoring boards also highlighted staff shortages. And its report goes on to say that the shortage of staff is hampering efforts to rehabilitate inmates. Well, our social affairs correspondent, Jeremy Ball, he's at the prison for us tonight. Jeremy, good evening to you. I mean, what's going on at the jail? Well, and there are really very serious worries about what's happening behind these prison walls. This jail can hold more than a thousand inmates. Most of them come from Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire. But the report says that violence here is still a very significant problem. And just look at these figures. In the year to the end of February, there were almost 200 assaults on staff. There were more than 450 incidents where inmates assaulted other prisoners. And there were 82 fires here in that year as well. And that violence increased last summer when there were the most acute staff shortages. And we've been speaking to prison officers who reckon there's a clear link. We lost a lot of staff. I believe up to 40% of staff went in some establishments. Uh, lo and behold, we see uh, the, n the number of violent incidents in prison increase by approximately the same amount. There's a direct link between the two. Although there are another, a number of other issues, uh, the number of staff uh, is one of the major factors in the levels of violence that we see in prisons today. And other concerns have been raised today, haven't they? Yeah, the monitoring board says drugs are still a persistent problem. It also says those staff shortages are uh, restricting vital rehab programmes here because the prison had to close some of its workshops, its education facilities and its gyms. And there's concern too about people with mental health problems being sent here. The report says that's not humane because there isn't appropriate treatment here. And in fact, there were five deaths and more than 600 incidents of self-harm here last year. So what's been the response from the prison service? Well, they accept that mental health provision here isn't up to scratch and they say officials are now talking to the health service to put that right. But uh, there has been a significant increase in staffing, they say, in the last few months. They say that's improved safety. They say workshops are being reopened. And they also say they've just opened a national training centre here for new recruits, which is going to increase prison staffing numbers at jails right across England and Wales. OK, Jeremy Ball, thank you.